guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post the videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, the title says above, is going to be a devotional with me video, and I've been wanting to get more of these onto the channel, so I figured why not start today. So I have a few things here, which basically are my phone, because I'm going to be using the Holy Bible app on Uversion, and if you want to add me on there, you can. I'll leave a link to my profile down below, and I'm starting a new pro um a new plan, so I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I have my notebook that I got from CVS and this is a notebook that I use when I do my devotionals from the Uversion app and I'll flip through it for you guys quickly. Oops. So yeah, I take a lot of notes in here. And then we have my faith planner. I have made so many videos about this planner. I love this planner so much. It is amazing. It is from Recollections. I got this from Michaels uh, a while ago. I do have an updated version, which I'll be flipping through soon in a video. In a video. But yeah, this is a faith, blessed, love, peace, holographic one. Um, and yeah, so let me just flip to the month. So, basically, it is an undated planner, which I love, but you get a dashboard here that says notes and thoughts, and then it says prayer requests. Um, this was just the pink kind of watercolor style with the crosses, but I put this sticker that says, Great is Thy Faithfulness, and then I put the July sticker. And this is how I have my month set up, real simple and clean, nothing over the top. Um, I still have things to plug in. But uh, I just have the reading plans that I was doing for this month. So I have been trying to complete all of Connie Lynn Cassette's reading plans. And if you don't know who she is, Connie Lynn Cassette is a biblical fiction author. She wrote the Out From Egypt trilogy as well as the Cities of Refuge series. So she recently just came out with Returning to Grace on July 10th, which is the third kind of devotional series within her Cities of Refuge reading devotionals so today i'm going to be starting freedom on the battleground which is based off of wings of the wind which is book three in her out from egypt series so here is how last week looked and i know it's pink and gold i probably should have went with red white and blue for july 4th but i just felt like a pink kind of mood so yeah basically what i do is i pick a verse from the dedicated scriptures throughout the throughout the day and I write down that verse, write out the actual scripture, and then I take some of the notes that I wrote down in my journal that I think are important and post them or write them into here. And that's pretty much it. So here is what it looks like for this week. I went with mint colors. So yes, like I said, today is Friday the 12th, so we're going to dive into this. So we're going to close this up. Move this to the side. I do have my Bible right here which you guys know this is like my go-to it is the spirit filled life bible i love this this is the third edition i just love this bible so much and i know a lot of you guys told me that you purchased it i hope you guys are enjoying the bible i just have found that this bible it's just so amazing for me so what we're gonna do is just open up my journal to the blank page hopefully this is the right page i have a bad habit of skipping pages so, the pens that I use are a regular big round stick, and I'm just trying to run this ink out because it's completely low. <laughs> I like using um, the Papermate Ink Joy gel pens. I just have these two because, again, I'm trying to run the ink out. I then have a Sharpie pen and then this Stabilo Point 88 pen here that I'm actually using inside of the planner. So, we're going to put that to the side for now. So like I said, today is the 12th, so I am just going to write the date. Let me fix the camera a bit. Okay, so like I said, today is the 12th, so I'm just going to put the date, which is 7-12-19. And then we're going to open up the app on my phone. Let me take my phone out of the case. Put the case to the side. So... This is my wallpaper, my lock screen, if you will, um, and I love it. It just says Psalms 25, 4-5, so I'm just going to quickly unlock my phone. Alrighty, so I'm going to open up the Holy Bible app. I do have my little drink here. This, okay, so let me talk about this real quick. 
This is the unicorn frappe that I found at Walmart. If you go to where they have like the coffees and hot chocolate section, normally where they have the creamers, the powdered creamers and the hot chocolates, there is this brand that they have in packets called Frozen Bean Cafe. No, Frozen Bean Frappe. And they make this unicorn latte, which is blue, and it actually tastes a little bit like bubble gum with a hint of strawberry. Like, it's weird, but it tastes so good. And it includes sprinkles. I don't know if you guys can see the little sprinkles inside. It's so good. So, um, this is a non-caffeinated, non-coffee frappe that they have, though, which is great. I think this would be great for little kids. I love it. I am down to four packs now. I literally bought 20. So, yeah. I have that for this morning, but anyway, so now we're open on to the app. I'm going to go to plans. I'm not doing a plan currently. I'm going to go to find plans. I'm going to go to the little magnifying glass, and I'm going to put in Connie Lynn's name. So Connie Lynn cassette. I'm going to search, and like I said, these are all of her reading plans. I have done Running Toward Grace, I have done Refined by Grace, I have done um, fr From Slavery to Freedom, and then Freedom in the Wilderness. So today I am going to start this one, which is based off of Book 3 in the Alpha Egypt series. So I'm going to mark it from Save for Later, and then hit Start Plan by myself, Visible to Friends. And there we go. So it is a six-day study. It ends on the 17th. Let me just make sure I have that information correct in my planner. Because I said the 18th, I was starting the other one. Yes, okay. Six-day plan. So the first thing I'm going to do is I always write the name of the plan and who wrote the plan on the first day that I started. So this is... Freedom on the... Battleground by Connie Lynn Cassette. I just like to know who the plan is from. And I only do that for the first day. So then the second to the sixth day, I'm just going to have the title of the actual plan I'm doing. Then I'm going to take my black Sharpie pen and draw an arrow. That's literally all I use the Sharpie pen for is to draw an arrow gonna take this other color which is this magenta I'm gonna actually click on the devotional and look for the title of that day's devotional courage to fight right here okay so courage to fight there you go so I no longer need that pen I'm then gonna skip a line and make a bullet point I'm going to go back, and then I'm just going to write down all of the scriptures. So I'm going to put read Joshua 1, Numbers 12, 3, Ephesians 6, 12, and then Romans 8. 31 to 39. I'm going to write another bullet point. Okay. So I'm going to click back on the devotional and I am going to read it. And then after I read all of this, like as I'm reading, I will jot down notes so you guys will see that on camera. And then once I am done reading through, I will watch the video and then dive into the scriptures. So I'm going to speed up this portion right now and add the music. <laughs>
guys. So you just saw me go through my Bible, um, looking at the scriptures and verses, underlining and highlighting, things like that. Then I picked the verse that I was going to do. So like I said, I had to read Joshua 1, Numbers 12, 3, Ephesians 6, 12, and then Romans 8, verses 31 to 39. So from those scriptures, I pick a verse that really stands out to me. And the one I went with is Joshua 1, 9. And then I write it out, which it says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So I have that written down. I can put my phone to the side. And now I'm just going to pick some points from what I wrote down only the ones that I think are like really really crucial and just write them down I used to use stickers as like my bullet points but now I'm really just not into the whole sticker thing <laughs> like covering my page with stickers so um, the first point I guess I can write is that God provides salvation and I don't know if you guys can see my notes but um right here i'm gonna write that he provides salvation so god provides salvation the next point i'm gonna write is um Trust the promises of the unchanging God. And then I'm going to write the last two points that I have on my notes, which are live out the promise. Live out the promise. of being more than a conqueror uh, I don't know if that's gonna fit whatever <laughs> and then this last point says cross and faith march in obedience and trust so we have that I am gonna mark the I pray today section but yeah that is pretty much it you guys this is how I do my devotional time I normally will pick a devotional from the Holy Bible app now I do have my actual like devotional books that I read on a daily basis which I'll do a video on one of those maybe in a week or two but I normally just read through the reading plan on my phone. Let me grab my phone. So I read through the plan on my phone. I take notes down from the reading plan. Then I go through the scriptures and find a verse that pops out at me so that I can write that verse out. And then I take the key points from here and stick them in here so that I have only the key essential points from each of the devotional days. Um, for today, Courage to Fight, I mean, Joshua just seems to be popping out at me too much, <laughs> literally, because I actually wrote my sermon, uh, my first sermon on Joshua verses 8 through 9, and I'll have a video on that once the elevation service is done, but I wrote my first sermon out on that, and, um, I don't know, Joshua just has been popping up every single where that I look. So for me, Joshua is just a phenomenal story. I do love the book of Joshua only because... Rahab is mentioned in it <laughs> and I love the story of Rahab though it is very small it is very impactful but um I just think it's important to understand that you know the promises of God are yay and amen um they are unchanging because he is an unchanging God they are everlasting there are some promises that do have come with conditions of course but all his promises are true you know no matter what we think or how we feel his word is his word. His word is sovereign. His word is everything. So just understanding that we need to live out those promises as if they are and not um, in kind of a fearful way. Because I know for me sometimes I do, I, like I know the promises of God, but then, you know, there are some days where I'm just like, well, maybe it won't happen or maybe 
this is not for me, but I need to understand that his promises are yea and amen for everyone who loves and adores him, for everyone who follows his word. And if you don't follow the word, then that's when the promises are not yea and amen for you. So um, it just reminds me to just stay in his word. I mean, he tells Joshua, um, I think it's verse 6 through 9, um, about having those, it's... 6, 7, and 8, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually going to pull it up because my sermon was actually on 8 through 9. But let me just open this. So in verse, not 6, verse 7 through 9, it says, Only be very strong and courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And for me, um, it, it's just important for me to understand that for me to have good success, I need to, one, understand his word, I need to live by his word, I need to meditate on his word, and I need to put all of my confidence and my my courage in him and not myself, because if I try to do things in my own way, it's just not going to work. It's going to fail every single time, no matter how hard I try to make things work. You can only make things work when God is in control. So um, I like the whole point of cross in faith, march in obedience and trust, because I think those are just crucial to us as believers. But um, yeah, this is my devotional routine. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in seeing another video like this, just thumbs up this video. Comment down below if you have any comments, concerns, or questions. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And click that little bell to stay notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!